Hey, quick sonic comrades! This is Cavalier here. I'm joined by Twiz. Hello. And this is going to be the first episode. I don't know. It's not an episode. First segment. It's a segmented segment. I don't know. The first chunk of a uh, new thing we're doing. We're going to be doing one arena match a day for the entire week. One day. One day. <laughs> one day. Tuesday. That kind of works. Actually. One day. Tuesday. <laughs> Thursday. Um, uh, Wednesday. Yeah. Fucking Thursday should have been the fourth, third day. Well, fourth day. Whatever. Um, yeah, we're gonna do one match every day, Monday through Friday, and then if there's anything, well, it's up to between Wednesday and Saturday. We're, either, we're gonna go either three losses on up to Wednesday, or we're gonna finish everything, whatever it is, on Saturday. So Saturday, for all intents and purposes, might have what's the max you can do? Ten matches, right? No, fifteen matches. Yeah. So theoretically, we could have ten matches on <laughs> on Saturday, which God, I hope not. Um, but yeah, that won't happen because I'm shit at this game. Anyway, first one's always going to be a little bit longer because it's going to have the draft. I have enough for two of these. Super happy about that. So what are we going to do? I'm going to include the draft. Ah, uh, you know, I had really good luck with Valera last time. She's got really good removal. Fuck that prick. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Ugh. You only really play Uther when you do it, right? I've done Uther, Jaina, and Valera, and I've had more success with Valera, but I think Uther has a lot more removal cards. Oh, no. Not at all. Valera's got better removal overall than uh, Uther. Just Uther's... I'm gonna do Valera. Just trust me. Well, I trust you. I'm just... Ugh, the Crip will be strong with this one. Damn, she is hot as hell up close. Alright, this part's gonna be all time-lapsed, so I'm not gonna talk any, so... Fucking deal with it. You can talk if you want. It's just gonna sound stupid. Like a chipmunk? I'll just cut it out, but sure, oh. that makes you feel better. <laughs> what a start! <laughs> well, I'm not going to speed up right away. I kind of want to just to piss everybody off. <laughs> Fucking seriously, though? We gotta do preparation. Okay, anyway, time lapse. <laughs> Okay, well there we go. I, you know, that's this is okay. I'm actually okay with this overall. So it's, it's a lot of like this is a nice curve. I like this curve. Um, but there's a lot of early game stuff that will not help me later on. I should have pulled that one sap. I think I, I had one. I had a chance to get two saps. I think I should have done that. But overall, I don't know. I have a feeling that I chose. I didn't choose. What is it? Spellbreaker. Spell because I had this. I, I have a feeling that might come back and bite me in the ass, but we'll see. Overall, this is not its not terrible. This is a nice little solid chunk here. Do I have any spells? I have a sap and head crack and... and that's it. Damn, this thing is zoo as fuck! <laughs> wow, it's really zoo as fuck. I didn't even realize that. Man. Yeah, I, I think I literally have one... Uh, two, yeah. <laughs> Holy, three, sorry. Three, okay. I've <laughs> got okay. three spells. Fuck yeah. All right, <laughs> let's do this. <clears throat> All right. Bluey. Alright. It's good we're starting off against aggressive class, considering they have very low uh, mana everything. Um, it's okay, actually. I'm okay with this. Let's see. 
<laughs> Fucking grim. I have two grim patrons. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do with two grim patrons? Well, hopefully they... they were literally the best possible scenario. I'm gonna say hopefully they ch tried to draft a uh, the face hunter and you have tons of low ones to bounce yeah, them all yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think I this has to happen because that'll make a 3-3 three, three on turn 2 plus I'll have a 1-2 weapon. That's pretty hardcore. I don't think they can do 2 damage on turn 2. Arcane shot. Yeah, I guess they could, but that's an arcane shotgun. Honestly, if that happens, I'm kind of not doing well. We'll see. There it is. Quick, oh, quick shot. shot. Wow. That's better, actually. I can lose that. Uh, especially with that. <laughs> I can definitely work with this. I'm trying to think how many quick shots they'd probably have. I don't know. I was watching Pez earlier, and he had at least four Transilver weapons. What? Trans- what? The Trent the Transilver blade for Paladin? True Silver. True Silver, okay. Did you say Transilver? I did. What that? What is a Trans- what? I don't even know what that would be. I have no idea either. I think I do. But yeah, True Silver. Four of them. Okay. Then what? Okay. Eh. I get five off of it. It's more than I thought I'd get. Yeah, they made a rushy as hell uh, deck here. Um, Sab or Yeti? I'm thinking Sab and Archer to get rid of the... Yeah. One no, one. I was thinking Sab and... Uh, Sab and fucking this thing, too, you actually. You can't. Huh? Sab's three. Or not Sab. Um, Elven Archer and... Uh, Knife. And Dagger, yeah. That won't be bad either. They're really expending their board quickly, so I think that's okay, since I have pretty good stuff. I don't really... I mean, I think I'm going to pull Grim on turn 5, just because, like, how much stuff they have that does more than 3 da or three or more damage, you know? Yeah. They already pulled their quick shot or whatever all it is. We'll see. Alright, they don't have anything in their hand. It's worthwhile. Oh. Well, hopefully that's, like, Explosive Trap or something. Oh, right. Okay, um, and the off chance that it's snipe. One day I'll be a real knight. It's not snipe. Okay, we are gonna sit on this bitch. We can wait. I'm thinking it's bear trap. There might be. The blade of the goddess. Oh. Go with the one two first. Um. Yeah, I kind of want to buff it to try to, uh, like, I could I could buff it high enough to kill that, but if it's, like, Freezing Trap or something, that would be bad news. Well, would it, though? Because I'd have a Dark Iron on the field. Hmm. You know, I don't think it, I don't think it would be. Well, I had to put the Dark Iron down first, though. Let's do this. I, I, they'll survive it, so that's not a big deal. Let's do that. Back with you first. If it doesn't work, I can at least take out the um, okay, freezing, the freezing trap. trap. Oh, okay, good. I can still take it out though. That's yeah. what, that's what matters here. here I have a pretty good board control. They might eviscerate, but we'll Makes, see how that goes. How can they eviscerate? Combo. The combo for eviscerates four damage. Okay. How can a hunter eviscerate? Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I just realized I didn't pull Eviscerate. I got head crack, but no Eviscerate. Yeah, I think that tempo play was the right move there, because they seem confused. You're going to be pissed when I pull Tiger next turn. Tiger. Hmm. The question is, how many secrets did they draft? Because secrets for Hunter are fucking annoying. Okay. I can live with that. What's more important here, Stranglethorn or Big Bitch? I think Big Bitch, probably. Give them something to bounce off of? Well, yeah, because, I mean, six you know, six health. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. Comparatively, you know, like, I'm not trying to sneak an attack in, you know? Not, not while they're in a tondo, so. Yeah. You're in I think, now. again, I think I have to do this. Here we go. Tap. They could probably do two damage to it, but again, they'll clear field. And I can play that game all fucking day. I think next turn is Sab and Stranglethorn. Okay. See, that could be bad news. 
Okay. Is it a beast? Hmm. The this thing is. Yeah. Gurubashi. Gurubashi's not now. Okay. Ooh, silence. Isn't that helpful? That actually is really helpful. So now do I? What do I do here? Ooh. Hmm. You know, it could be interesting. What's that? Is silence Gurubashi? Yeah. Pull Grim. Yeah. Bounce off of Panther. Fuck that thing off, and then that won't kill it, and then I could bounce that off of the um, Gurubashi. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because Panther will kill it. That could be neato. Mm. Will it be, though? We'll see. I'm not doing great on health. They're guaranteed 8 damage next turn. But I think... I think that's the play. It's a good play. And if it's like Explosive Trap or something, I am fucking set. <laughs> What? Um, <laughs> what can you do with 16? Oh. Okay. I still have plenty of tempo plays, so that's not really bothering me in the slightest. Um. Okay. So definitely... I think Sab and Stranglethorn. Because we need to yeah. slow down that I was gonna say, trickle yeah. damage. Um, that's fine. They might blow their entire load on that. That would be kind of cool. They spend seven mana for four damage. <laughs> Getting a little thin on cards, though. So are they. Mm, no, they got more in their hand, finally. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, God. My butthole was clenched really hard. <laughs> I heard it. Was it like a smacking sound? Yep. <laughs> like a... And then a slight whistle as you released. <laughs> a slight whistle. <laughs> That's funny. Is Lance Carrier plus two? Yep. That could be interesting. Yeah. Bust <laughs> Guru Bashi with that. Mm hmm. Squire. All sorts of crazy shit. I really gotta get rid of that 5 3 there, which I think mm -hmm. Saboteur is gonna have to do. Okay. I realize I drafted I dra drafted prep on like turn one. Yeah. And then I have like no spells. I think I've used have I used both spells? No, I haven't. So that kind of blows. I don't think blows. you've seen them yet. Okay, you. Oh, this hurts. Let's just do that. Will they trade? They only really need a beast and kill command in their set. Well played. That's it. Fuck! Well, I can tell because he's being cock about yeah. it. Yeah. Huge cock. Well, what can you do? That's a rushy deck. It's kind of hard to beat a rushy deck. Goddamn Russians. That's what it is. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, huh? You damn Ruskies. Ruskies? I don't know. That's, that's not very PC of you. Is it? I don't know. Is Ruskies a non-PC thing? I'm not really sure. That's like that's a really old term for me. Like I don't hear Ruskies anymore. I hear a bunch of the old shitty terms, but I mean, like, I don't know. It's one of those ones I, I kind of have a sort of a, a, a finicky line with. Like I'm pretty sure that mook is not a good word, but I don't know what it means. I just <laughs> No, it's supposedly not a good thing. You're gonna get all the. You're gonna get comments from all the people oh, that offended. So many of the views. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, they'll be offended for the sake of being offended. Anyway, that's uh. I don't know what to call these episodes. Bits. Chunks. Bits. Nah. That's part one. Yeah, it's part one of week one of this whole new thing we're doing in the arena. Thanks for joining we're us, guys. Off to a bad start. <laughs> thanks. Jesus Christ. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you again tomorrow. That's a cool shot. Look, I got a fucking, look, I got like a flavor flave clock going on. I'm trying to indicate with my mouse, even though it doesn't work like that. That's Ryan. Yeah, I'm not really sure if this is before or after. I think it's a little bit after the first one. Oh, dear. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Let's start out with this bullshit. Oh, oh God. Do totems have a gender? I don't know. Probably not, right? That wouldn't make very much sense if they did. Chow, even better. All right, cool. Zombie.